If you've been following this journey, you already know one truth. Emotion is glue that makes memories stick. But today, we take it further. Not just feel it to remember it, but choose the emotion, build the intensity, and use it strategically. Because the difference between remembering something and never forgetting it is emotional precision. Let's build on what you've already learned. I don't know why I double, double finger gunned you. We've explored how strong emotional experiences light up the amygdala and the hippocampus, forging deeper memory traces. Here's the upgrade. Not just about feeling something, it's about what kind of feeling you attach. It's called emotional granularity, the ability to recognize, label, and use specific emotional states, not just happy or sad, but curious, relieved, energized, urgent, defiant. Studies by Dr. Lisa Feldman Barrett show that people with higher emotional granularity have stronger recall and better learning retention. So if you want to anchor a memory with feeling, you need to be specific. Now that we're aiming for precision, here is your new tool. Intentional emotional anchoring. Step one, choose the information you want to remember. Let's say a quote or a date or some kind of process. Step two, pick the emotional context you want to tie it to. Example being um, uh, urgency for a date or for a quote or frustration for a problem solving step. Step three, evoke the feeling while encoding. Imagine a, a, a scene or music or some kind of personal experience that triggers that that feeling as you review the information. Step four, name the feeling out loud. <laughs> Give myself a laugh now. This boosts labeling accuracy and emotional granularity. The more precise the emotion, the more durable the memory. What a long day. Your challenge for the day is to layer multiple emotions into a learning sequence. Take three unrelated facts, one quote, one number, and one name. You assign a different emotional tone to each of them. Let's say um, a quote can be awe. Um, number of any kind can be fear. Uh, a name can be um, uh, affection. That's probably the most appropriate one for relationships. Now you act them out in a single exaggerated storytelling scene. Make it absurd, dramatic, or even cinematic if you want to. By weaving facts through different emotional tones, you're encoding with multi-track memory, giving your brain multiple routes back to the same information. Emotion doesn't just stick memories. It shapes how and when they come back. The more, the more you practice emotional encoding with intention, the more power you gain over your recall. It's not just about being dramatic. It's about being deliberate.